Hi, I'm Liv, and today we're going to talk about Kindle Unlimited. I am a Kindle Unlimited girly. I'm absolutely obsessed with this bloody app, and I just want to talk about all the pros, the cons, my things about it, my favourite things about it, and I mainly want to tell you my Kindle Unlimited recommendations. Start off with the information. So, Kindle Unlimited is a subscription server. This subscription service is nine forty nine a month. Personally, I don't feel like this is a bad amount considering what you get for the Amazon. Once you buy Kindle Unlimited, there are so many books that are on that. Like it's actually insane. So, how it works is you get a subscription service for one, and then when you are on Amazon, certain books will say this price, but then zero pounds with kindle limited and what that means is you can basically read that book you can download that to your kindle and it also appear on your phone your ipad anything you have that kindle app on and you're logged into your account it will your amazon account by the way just to clarify as you click to read that book it will download onto the app and you can read this book on your kindle on your phone on your ipad any of those devices and this book you basically can just read like a regular kindle book and once you've finished it you just return it to kindle limited and all the notes that you have made and everything stay on goodreads so let me explain that a bit better you can save up to 20 books at once with kindle limited so it's not like limited like time limited or anything which i felt like really frustrated me with like library apps it was always like a time limit but with kindle limited there's literally no time limit of how long you have to um like a short amount of time before you have to send the book back it's just completely up to you as long as you're still paying for the subscription service you can keep them literally years if you wanted so once you've downloaded the book and you've read it you might do some annotating some highlights and as long as your kindle account your amazon account is linked to your goodreads which is really easy to do there's loads of tutorials online for it once it is linked any highlighting underlining notes that you make on that book even when you send it back to kindle limited they will still appear in Goodreads, which I just think is so fun. Like to me, I always highlight things I want to remember or look back at. I put them on my Goodreads, like I highlight them. And then I go on my Goodreads later on and I look through and I just look back at books that I once loved. And I'm like, oh my God, I remember that quote. And I've like highlighted certain bits, annotated certain bits saying like, oh my God, I love this bit. Or, oh my God, this is why I've fallen in love with this character. And with Kindle Unlimited, you might think like, oh, but I don't get to keep the book. Like what am I paying for? And what you're paying for is the ability to literally take out an unlimited amount of books a month really. Obviously a month is 9 49 as I said, but what I mean by this is 9 49 is literally cheaper than a book in Waterstones. I'm not even joking. I feel like the cheapest in Waterstones a book is $8.99 and that's for a single book. Whereas in one month, I'm just going to tell you about last month. Last month I read a grand total of seven books on Kindle Unlimited seven books that would have literally been just under 70 quid if i bought those books individually in store from waterstones i managed to read all those books for 9.49 that month and i don't have any intention of buying them right now but sure i might at some point buy physical copies of those books and that's completely up to me but it also gives you the opportunity to read books that you're on the fence about and you're not sure if you're going to enjoy them and you read them and you can have like a dud you may think oh my god no that was a terrible book but thank god you haven't actually paid for it do you know what i mean i've had so many books like that perfect sun i was honestly i read it and i was like what the hell i just read no like that was not a great book and i was so thankful i hadn't actually paid like 8.99 for that book so that's always a bonus because you're not buying these books individually I also think that Kindle Limits is just convenient really, like I'm sorry but I'm always bored out of my mind, like I'm just going to be honest, I'm always so bored and the one thing I do when I'm bored is I just browse through the Kindle Limited store, see what they've got, get an idea and you know how it is when you're in uni, you have no money left over. This subscription service I literally set aside 9 49 for the month, make sure that I pay every single month and when I'm bored out of my mind I can just go book shopping on Kindle Limited, and it feels the same as book shopping. Because to be honest, when I buy a book on my Kindle, I have never gone back and reread it ever. I feel like I should do that at some point. I've literally never reread a book ever. So for me, Kindle Unlimited is just the perfect like service because I read a book, I send it back, I don't need it anymore. Like that is just so me coded. Like I just, I've never reread a book and I've, I don't intend to do that unless I adore a book. And I wanted to do it with the Chestnut Springs series because I just bought the physical copies here. We did read these on Kindle Unlimited, highly recommend. And I bought the physical copies literally like a year later. I mean, I did do all the books and that's why I bought the physical copies, but I only bought them after I knew I loved the book. I'm going to talk about 
I cannot explain what this is. This is a cue card with um, notes on for this video. <laughs> tell you some books that I absolutely adore, which are on Kindle Limited. So let's start off with the completed series. So I don't know if it's just me, but I absolutely love when I found a complete series I've never read before, not really heard much about, and it's already intriguing me. So these are all books that are completed series and they're on Kindle Unlimited, ready for you to read as of literally today. Haunting Adeline series. So this Haunting Adeline series is by H.D. Carlton, and she wrote three books for this, and all three of them are on Kindle Unlimited. The books we have are Haunting Adeline, Hunting Adeline, and Where's Molly, which is a little novella. I would highly recommend these books and the reason I would recommend these books on Kindle Unlimited is for well two reasons really one by the way they are dark romance books if you've never heard of them before which I highly doubt because Haunting and Hunted Adeline are very popular book talk books so first of all I would highly recommend these books because I don't know if it's just me I went in store I picked up these books why are they so heavy they literally look the same as my other books they're the same size and everything i picked them up and the weight of these bloody books i just don't understand <laughs> genuinely shocked me whereas i literally can just have my kindle in my bag with all of my books on and i can scroll through whatever the hell i want to read honestly i just didn't expect the books to be that heavy that's the first reason and secondly these books are so expensive in real life like I have seen, I don't know what it is about dark romances, but I feel like dark romances are always like 20 quid in Waterstones. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like considered an adult book. I don't really know what that's about, but I see normal adult romances, which are like 10 quid usually, like 9.99. And then I see Haunting Adeline, Hunting Adeline, and they're a whopping like 17, 18 quid. And I'm just sat here thinking, why? why is it so expensive it's literally the same size as the other books i don't understand so personally i would always read that book in kindle unlimited because to me i don't know if i'd want to spend 20 quid in a book that like like that i don't know because it's not a massive book like it's just so heavy and i just i don't understand why i just feel like it's not even a hardback or anything the next series i've got is a book or uh, a six book series so this book series is by sophie lark and this is the brutal birthright series I will never shut up about this series. I adore it and it actually kills me that nobody talks about it. It actually hurts my soul. This book series is absolutely phenomenal. It's a mafia romance series. It's really good. So it's a semi-dark romance. I'd argue that it's a morally gray romance. Like it's nowhere near as dark as Haunting Adeline. Like that has a lot of trigger warnings at the beginning of that book and I would recommend you read all. If you complain about things in that book and they are in the trigger warnings and you've not read them, that is your own fault. I don't care. I absolutely adore the Haunting and Hunting Adeline books. If you don't and you hated them and you like talk bad about them but you knew the triggers before you got into the book, don't speak to me. Do not speak to me. The Brutal Birthright, Mafia Romance, Morally Grey Men and Women. Really, really, really great book. Really enjoyed it. Book, book series. Um, and also it's six books and they're all on Kins Unlimited. All of them. Just saying. That is like so much money saved if you literally read all those in a month, which I'm going to be honest, I did. <laughs> I read all six books last month. I actually did an April wrap up if you want to check that out. And I read all six of the Brutal Birthright series. Six books in that series. I just couldn't put it down. I really couldn't. And I feel like that's why I'm telling you about completed series is, is because you know when you're reading books and you just can't put the book down and you finish it and you're like, I need the next one. Kindle Unlimited, it allows you to read it instantly without having to spend any extra money. I, I, that's why I love it so much because I have read books on my Kindle that I have paid for and I have wanted the second one so bad, but I'm like, I don't have the money to spend on this right now. Equally, I've had physical copies of books like my The Enemy series, it's a zombies book series, it's dopium that series whenever i finish one of those books i instantly i'm like i need the next one but it's a paper copy and i'm like oh my god i can't i don't have the time to go and get it and i don't have like the patience to wait <laughs> for it to like be delivered to my house whereas kindle limited it's pretty much instant that you get this book into your kindle as long as you have wi-fi and if you don't i usually it's a little tip 
I usually put my hotspot on and if you go into the Wi-Fi settings on your Kindle, you can connect to your own hotspot on your phone. You may already know that, I didn't. I figured it out on the train the other day and I felt very smart because I really wanted to read a book and it hadn't downloaded yet. So I did that. The next series is the Twisted series. If you haven't heard the Twisted series, oh my God, you must be living under a rock or you're not on TikTok either way. Four books for Anna Huang and I love her writing. I also want to say the majority of Anna Huang's books are on Kindle Limited. I know it's a TikTok. <laughs> yeah, her books are clearly on TikTok. The majority of Anna Huang's books are on Kindle Limited. I will say there are a few though that aren't, so I won't say that all of them are on there, but the vast majority are, and her most like popular series is. Anna Huang's books though, the Twisted series, is all based on these four girls who each know each other because they were I think, like, high school friends or college friends, and they each fall for a man, a billionaire. We're not always a billionaire. These four girls falls for a guy who isn't able to be with anybody. So you've got Ava falls in love with this billionaire Alex, who is her brother's best friend. You have Bridget who falls in love with her bodyguard and she becomes a queen and it's a forbidden romance. Jules falls in love with her best friend's brother and her frenemy. And then Stella falls in love with the guy who is head of her building. He's like does the security for the building and they do like fake dating and he like is trying to help her when she has a stalker. Really good series, loved it, really spicy and all four of them are in Kings Unlimited. I also want to mention with that this isn't a complete series I'm about to mention but the Kings of Sin series is also on there. That is an ongoing series. I think Anna Huang's put out four books so far out of a possible out of seven so if that's an ongoing series but that is all on kindle limited if you are interested in the twisted series and the hang series is kindle limited next is the dream and billionaire series by lauren asher this is a three book series which is the fine print and the conditions and final offer i don't know why i'm all of a sudden naming the books i didn't do that at all with the other series but okay these three books are focused on three brothers who are each trying to get complete their grandfather's will and he had terms in, like he had some terms in his will which had to be met in order for these grandsons to be able to get what the will offers them their inheritance uh really interesting spicy really nice i like this book series like i really like those books i mean i have them on my shelf there i think I really like his books, really good. I love the guys in them. Declan has my heart. Yeah, really good series, really like it. They're all billionaires, by the way. I've got a thing for billionaires. I don't know if you've noticed. The last series I'm gonna mention is one by Elsie Silver, and this is the Chestnut Springs series. I love it. I've literally got them here. I bought the physical forms because I adored the Kindle Limited ones so much. The Chestnut Springs series, by the way, is about five cowboys. Some of them are cowboys, some of them are ex-cowboys, um, but they're all to do with this ranch. They all live there and they are all like a family to each other. And it is such a good book series, so spicy. I'm honestly, my favorite guy in a book is a cowboy, can't lie. And I just absolutely adore the series. It's so brilliant, top series. I almost forgot. Oh my god, yeah! The Knock Em Out series is also on Kindle Unlimited, the entire series, the three books, and I would highly recommend them because with all the other books I've mentioned, they were pretty long books, like long book series, so get them on Kindle Unlimited so you'd have to pay like 60 quid. With the Knock Em Out series, I would highly recommend that on Kindle Unlimited for the sole reason of the Knock Em Out series is so long for no reason. <laughs> I don't know why, I have no clue why things we hide from the light and what was the other one called things we leave behind i have no clue why those books were basically 600 pages long i ain't got a clue but those books are so thick don't understand why but i would highly recommend getting thick books on kindle limited unless you want them on your, your shelf to display always would recommend kindle limited because to me i read so much quicker on my kindle and big thick books like that really intimidate me the only books i've ever enjoyed that are really thick are the akatar books i loved a court of wings and ruin thought it was great massive book was very intimidating to start though cannot lie finally i'm going to mention that Freedom at fathom's books are majority all of them are on kenza limited so i just want to put that out there so if you want a thriller and a romance her books are really good 
Lucy Scores books, the majority of hers are all in Kindle, Kindle Limited. I think basically all of them are. And Elsie Silver, her books are all on Kindle Limited. Would recommend. Last thing to say is that I have a few anticipated upcoming releases coming out. I am so excited to read them. And some of them are on Kindle Limited, like they will be. So the ones that are on Kindle Limited, well, they will be on Kindle Limited, are. So this one, these first two have already come out. So the first two are King of Sloth, which I'm currently partway through. That is on Kindle Limited. Wild Love by Elsie Silver. It's on Kindle Limited. I have the physical copy as well, it's literally right there. <laughs> but it's on Kindle Limited. Also, Love Unwritten by Lauren Asher. That will be on Kindle Limited because her late front billionaire series is on there already, like the first book. So yeah. And finally, The Housemaid is Watching by Freed McFadden. The first two are on Kindle Limited, The Housemaid and The Housemaid Secret, and the third one is coming out in June. But yeah, that is everything. Hope you have enjoyed. Those are my reasons for Kindle Limited, like why I enjoy it, and some of my recommendations. I'll see you guys pretty soon in another video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys as soon as possible. Sorry for the late upload, I was finishing my research report. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!